Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. I have some empties to go over. I don't think I did them last month, so I've got some more, well not extras, not more than usual, I don't think, but I've got some clean beauty empties to go over, and I felt like a red lip today. I'm feeling just kind of down. We'll talk about it. Not down, doesn't matter. I'm feeling middle-aged. I have no particular order here, so let's just jump in. Some of these things are just declutters, not necessarily empties, and the first are these Lano Lips. Now, I happen to love these. These are the Lano Lips Tinted Lip Balms. If you're not familiar with Lano Lips, they are not vegan. They are lanolin, which is from like sheep's wool or sheep's skin. You can let us know in the comments if you know exactly what it's from, but these are just really fantastic, moisturizing, comfortable. For a while I would carry this one in my purse, use it on my lips, use it on my cheeks, use it on my eyes for a little sheen. They're just old, it's time to get rid of them. I got them in Anthropology. They also have a clear, they have body balms. You can use them anywhere. Of course I want the tinted and that's why I got them. This is a beautiful, cool kind of rose. This is called Rose. <laughs> So, and it comes in these squeezy tubes. I live in a drier, cooler climate, although it's been around 100 lately. So they can sometimes be hard to squeeze because, you know, of the cold weather. This is the shade Rose. It's really pretty if you're looking for a cool tone. And this is the shade Rhubarb. It's a warmer shade. And this is actually the one I wore more often, which surprised me because I tend to be a cool shade kind of lady and they're just beautiful like really moisturizing and comfortable I started using these when I first was switching to clean beauty stuff and wanted something to replace Vaseline type items on my lips and they're great since we started there and I have no order planned I'm going to jump in with the rest of my decluttering this is the lip caramel from 100% pure love this this is, I believe it's the shade Sherbert. I'm not sure it's available anymore, but this is a gorgeous, cool pink, and it is opaque. I'm getting rid of it because it's old, it's coming apart, and 100% pure. Their products are really natural, and I think with the more natural the product is, the more you need to really pay attention to those expiration dates. This is just beautiful. It has a beautiful sheen to it, shine, and like I said, it's opaque. You really can't shear it out. It does stain the lips, and I mean, it's just gorgeous. I loved this. It's just really bright, and I didn't wear it that often because I don't tend to do such a statement lip, but I highly recommend this. Like I said, the color may not be available anymore, but I believe the lip caramels are still available. And this is another 100% pure product. This one I have not found on their website for a long time. And you can see I the, the top is plastic. I broke the top, but this is Fruit Pigmented Pot Rouge in Pinky. And this is one that I loved. I didn't wear it that often, especially for videos, because shortly after I got it, I never found it again. It's almost a moussey product that's kind of dry, and I'm not gonna spend much time on this. It was a perfect shade, blended into my skin beautifully, looked very natural, but like I said, I can't find it anymore. It's a glass container, and it was great. This is a Fit Glow product. It is their bronze, it's one of their Oh, what do they call them? I'll put it on the screen. Everything I talk about will be linked down below in the comment, oh my gosh, in the description section so you can check out more about it. I always put a link to the products. When I put the products and put a link, I do not gain any benefit. No points from the companies, no mon monetary compensation, nothing. It's just for your convenience. I try to always list the shade that I've talked about and then way, way down below after everything, I do have some affiliate links where if you do shop those, I believe I see a benefit from those purchases, but I'm honestly, that's never happened. So this is the shade Bronze. It has no scent. I don't think it ever had a scent. That's one thing I love about Fit Glow. Any of their scents I have always adored. I wasn't crazy about this. I don't know, the packaging is kind of hard to get into. I did buy their brush that comes with it. It's a double-ended, I think it's called the Teddy Brush. Really nice, but this really kind of sheared out and disappeared into my skin. It does have a little bit 
of a sheen to it, which is lovely. I, I think maybe if your skin tone is pale, this could work for you, but it just didn't do much for me. All of Fit Glow's products do also have skin benefits. There are skincare infused with makeup. So check them out if you're interested. The packaging was cute, but not so convenient. And I believe they're repackaging and uh, I don't know, I just wasn't a fan. Quick break. This was a favorite. This is the RMS Beauty Signature Set Pop Collection. I'll be 48 next month, don't make fun of me. I broke the top. Everything I have that has these kind of hinges, somehow I break, putting in the drawer or something. It's plastic, no mirror, but still super convenient. A highlighter, a bronzer, two lip to cheek products, and then this was a clear coconut lip balm, which, I was not crazy about and it's annoying you can't really fit your finger in it as it starts to wear down so I had to use my pinky it wasn't super convenient it didn't last super long uh, so that was I don't know it wasn't I, I think take that out make the palette just get rid of it I don't know or add something else in its place but the names of the colors are labeled on the back. You can tell I love this bronzer. This is the fav my favorite bronzer I've ever used. It's the Baruti bronzer. It just wears beautifully. The shade is gorgeous. I feel like it's a little bit reddish. You know how bronzers tend to be either gold or reddish? This one is a little reddish. I just loved it. It always looked great. I mean, summer, winter, fall, every season, it's always the one I reached for. But this lasted me like a year and a half. I mean, this teeny bit lasted. This is the Magic Luminizer, which is a really gorgeous highlighter that I also loved. You can tap it into the skin. It wears over powder. It wears over liquid or whatever. And this was also my favorite highlighter. I still adore it. I'm just trying to try new things because I love trying new things. But honestly, if you can tolerate coconut oil on your skin, this palette is fabulous. Beloved, I believe, is this shade. Beloved. And this, I loved this shade as a blush. It's just kind of, again, a perfect blush tone on my, I'm gonna put some on. I know it's old and I'm getting rid of it because of that. This is typically what I brought on my vacations. This is it, plus maybe an eyeliner and a mascara. But this one I didn't really wear, Demure. It's, it's a cool red and you can actually mix it nicely with the other blush. Is it a cool red? I don't know. I just, maybe it's a, I didn't like this shade, but love, love, love this. And okay, a hack that didn't work. I have these makeup wipes and I pulled the top off all the way accidentally, so I put this big Band-Aid on it. They're dried out. The Band-Aid must have absorbed the moisture or let it out, which makes sense. Band-Aid should breathe. Moving right along. Do you guys remember that Kermit the Frog song? Frog song. I can hear it, but I can't sing it. More sort of makeup products, but these aren't declutters. These are used up. The first, oh, is the Merit Beauty Mascara. It just comes in black. I got it at Sephora. Merit is a newer brand. It comes with this, it's not exactly a pipe cleaner one, but it's also not silicone or rubber. It's just a smaller size wand, created beautiful natural looking lashes, just a little better, defining. I loved this for a natural everyday look. It wore great with a mask where the moisture goes up, you know, kind of into your eyes. This didn't flake or smudge. It was very comfortable. I highly recommend this if you're looking for an everyday mascara that isn't gonna be volumizing. This is the Suntegrity, uh, wanted to make sure I got it right, five-in-one tinted sunscreen moisturizer. It moisturizes, hydrates, protects, primes and covers, broad spectrum SPF 30, non-nano zinc oxide. It has a dewy finish. And it is both a moisturizer and a sunscreen. It has antioxidants, organic oils. It's reef friendly and vegan. I don't know that I have any left. Oh. Okay, I promise you I've not been able to get any out. Anyway, I love this. This does come in a few shades. All of them are medium skin tone and lighter. None of them are for deeper skin tone. I can only imagine they are working on that. I hope so. But this is the finish, I'll back up some because the lights can be kind of bright 
and give it some time to settle in. It has a scent, I have no idea. I, I feel like it's a little peppery on top of something else. If you've tried this, let us know what you think of the scent. It's, I believe, it's supposed to be unscented. I don't care for the scent, but it's not off-putting to me. I've already repurchased this in a deeper shade. This is the shade Light. I take this on vacations. I mix it in with my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy if I want to deepen the shade a little bit. Very comfortable. It is dewy, so if you don't like that, you'll definitely want to powder it. The SPF works great. It was started by a woman whose mother passed away from skin cancer, so she does take it very seriously and wants to make products that people will wear to protect themselves from the sun, and I recommend you check out some Tegrity, if not this product, then one of their others, but I do love this one. Another sunscreen, this one, this is the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50 Plus. PA++++. Plus 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 plus. It's essential oil free, no stickiness, and light texture, 70% water-based formula, 100% physical, and non-nano sunblock. So this was my favorite untinted sunscreen that was non-nano zinc oxide, and then the whole sunscreen scandal started. I don't know if you're familiar with it. One of Purito's other products was pulled from the market for being mislabeled. Not Purito's fault, the company that did the SPF testing had certified it as higher than it actually was, so Purito pulled this one as well. It was inexpensive, it was available at Walmart, and it was so comfortable. I did notice, however, that I burned wearing this when I thought I shouldn't have, so I have a feeling this is not properly rated, and maybe they'll re-release it, so. It's not available, and at this point I wouldn't recommend it, but you can't get it anyway, so ha. This is from the new Sensitive line from Tata Harper. This is their Softening Cleanser. Next Generation Beauty, I was trying to read what this teeny tiny print is, and I did it. This is a travel size or sample size. I must have gotten it with a purchase as a gift. I was not crazy about this. It uh, burned my eyes. I always do a test where when I wash my face, I open my eyes. I'm sure I shouldn't, but I wanna know if it burns my eyes or not. It did burn my eyes. It also dried out my skin, which is shocking even. I took this on a trip to Florida where it's humid and my skin was just dried out that whole trip and I really think it was this. It had no scent. It foamed beautifully. It removed everything. It was really nice to use other than the burning of the eyes and the drying of the skin. So obviously, I'm not gonna repurchase this. I am not a Tata Harper fan. I think it's very expensive and until the sensitive line came out, everything was so floral, it actually made me sneeze and inflamed my allergies. So I'm curious about more things in the line, but I don't know if I'll try them or not. Another cleanser. Surprise, surprise if you've watched my empties. This is a 100% pure coconut lime shower gel. It is natural and vegetarian and cruelty-free, gluten-free, which actually is important for some people for things to be certified cruelty-free. I mean, gluten-free and of course non-toxic. I love 100% Pure's body line. I loved the scent of this. It foams beautifully. Nothing bad to say. I've repurchased this so many times. I'm actually taking a break. They recently had a body care sale. They probably still have it going on. I really don't know. I love this. I recommend it. I've repurchased it. I would like to again, but I'm not gonna right now. We are almost finished. I forgot one, two makeup products and one SPF. They're multiplying. All right, let's go. This is a foaming hand soap from Cosmetology. I've talked about this before as well. It's paraben free, sulfate free, made with organic ingredients. It is very expensive. This already comes mixed with water, so I find it to be really expensive. However, knowing how expensive it is, my husband has still asked me to repurchase it because it doesn't dry our skin out. And we were washing our hands so often with COVID and everything. This is really great. It does stop up your soap dispenser and they let you know that on the website. It's water, olive oil, all organic. Everything's organic. It's water, olive oil, coconut oil, palm kernel oil, and then potassium hydroxide, lavender essential, well, mine, the scent I got. It's lavender essential oil and then eucalyptus essential oil. Certified by Made Safe, cruelty free and vegan. Made Safe is a great organization if you're not familiar with them. Anyway, 
great product. It will stop up your soap dispenser. It won't dry your hands. Uh, you just need to know that about the stopping up the soap dispenser because you'll push on it and will spray all over your shirt. So if you're not aware, you'll be angry. If you are aware, at least you'll be angry at yourself and not at the product. Back to the SPF. No, it's not SPF, it's a lotion. This is Claire Supple Preparation All Over Lotion. It is unscented and Claire's is a Korean beauty line that believes in simple skincare. These min minimal number of ingredients. And this has beta-glucan, which is very hydrating instead of hyaluronic acid. It has serin serinamides. Ser serinamides and quick absorbing and light finish. This is not completely clean, but it came highly recommended to me, so I gave it a try. It actually, to me, had a teeny bit of a plum scent to it, very lightly. I wouldn't say it was scented, but I could smell that. It was a thinner lotion that did spread out nicely, smoothly, and absorbed quickly. I could have used more moisture. It's probably perfect for summer. Um, it was nice. I have nothing bad to say. I don't feel the need to repurchase it, though. Oh, here's the other makeup product I had. It's another 100% pure product, Fruit Pigmented Water Foundation. It's just old, and you can see it's all separated. The water from the, can you see that? It's old, it's past the expiration point. This is the shade Neutral 2.0. This was my favorite foundation forever. This is super light, and I mixed it with a 3.0 to create my shade. It's actually expensive. I can't believe I bought both shades to accommodate my skin tone, but I did because I loved it. Of course, it's natural and fruit pigmented and vegan and all that good stuff. I do recommend it. It is more full coverage, medium to full coverage, and wore great, really look nice on my skin. This is just old. This is the Taila, Taila, Vayu Illuminating Toning Mist. It was fine. At first I thought I really liked the scent and as time went on I didn't, I didn't find it really did anything good or bad. It was just fine. I have not much else to say. The Plume Nourish and Define Brow Pencil. I really like the packaging. I think it's pretty. I think it's sleek. It has a top for both ends. It comes with a spoolie, which I think is 100% necessary with a brow pencil. This is the other end, and it's just completely out. This packaging is refillable, which I'll talk about in a second. One thing that I did slash didn't like is that each end is a different size. So if I went to put the top back on and I had both ends off, if I put the wrong end on, you know, I could ruin the pencil or, you know, get kind of get frustrated. At the same time, they're both different sizes, so it was easy to tell which end was which. So user error, but just a teeny little complaint of mine. So like I said, it is refillable and I have a refill right here. I use the shade, uh, I think it's like cinnamon. You just pull it out and push this one in. And it is more of a fine tipped pencil, if you can see that. So you can make some finer lines with it. It's really nice, I've been pleased with it. It's a smoother, almost like gel pen is how it goes on, or gel pencil, if that were a thing. So I, I do like it. I run through it much faster than my other brow products though because it is a softer consistency and I feel like I just put more product down with it. I got this Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner. This is just the container from the shampoo. I took it on a recent trip with me. It is restructuring bond repair shampoo to strengthen damaged hair. I don't typically use products that aren't really pretty clean. This is not clean to my standards, but like I said, I was traveling, wanted to take some shampoo with me. This kind of did amazing things to my hair. My hair felt, after just two or three uses, I got a couple uses out of this little sample, my hair felt like soft and it just was behaving better. Right now it's still kind of wet, by the way. So don't pay it any mind, and I didn't use it today. But it really, my hair was really nice. I also used the conditioner. Um, it just, it really felt like it did repair or strengthen and do something really positive for my hair. I do recommend it if 
you're okay with some less clean products, especially in the hair is where I'm okay with it because it's a rinse off product and your hair is dead as long as you can handle the scent and whatever doesn't irritate your scalp, I guess. <laughs> There's that too, but it is a rinse off product. Uh, I would recommend this. I'm not gonna get it, although I'm tempted, I gotta say. I tried this Sahajan. Sorry to butcher that name. It's a brightening mask. It has turmeric, hemp seed oil, and AHAs, or AHAs, alpha hydroxy acid, like glycolic acid. I really liked this, but I think, I think the consistency went uh, over time because it started kind of separating. Oop, and I think, yeah, part of it just fell off. It kind of got chalky and separating where some of it wouldn't mix in with the other and I think it was more orangey like the turmeric to begin with yeah you can see here how it's all separated so I think I just kept it too long but the first few times I used it, I did notice it was moisturizing and non-drying and at the same time left my skin looking and feeling beautiful as if I had exfoliated because it does have the alpha hydroxy acid so I really liked this product I'm considering getting a full size two more things we can make it this is the Audacite BA and S eye contour, the Baobab Sarsaparilla eye contour. This is again a sample or trial size. It's an eye oil. I expected so much from this and didn't see any benefit from it. I have incredibly dry under eyes. What I found for me is even a plain old oil or an oil with magical properties or stated magical properties isn't good enough for me. I actually use a hyaluronic acid under my eye and then just put some squalane or other oil on top of it. That's what's worked the best for me. So I feel like I'm really not a good person to talk about whether or not this is a good product. It just didn't do, it didn't do anything bad. It didn't irritate my eyes. I just didn't, notice anything positive from it. I know it's expensive. I think it comes in a rollerball kind of dispenser. Last but not least is a new brush I got. It's a powder brush from EcoBrow. I don't know. Makeup artists say brushes are the most important thing. I love my inexpensive EcoBrows and Real Technique brushes. They're soft and I feel that at least these are eco-friendly. And this says it's best with pressed powders. This one's vegan, cruelty-free. It's packaged using 88% less plastic. And I thought this was so cool. It comes with this little water me. Watch your packaging grow into wire, wildflowers. You can actually plant this. And the paper itself is biodegradable anyway. So that just made me really like this product and I wanted to share it. I do like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a little more blush. What do you think? I don't know. Let's try a different shade. So you can kind of see, this is my PYT blush that I'm adoring and have talked about before. Looks like it's really a non-shade. It's sort of a pale pink, not sort of. It's a pale pink, maybe even a little peachy. But look how beautiful <laughs> this blush is. This is not about the blush, it's about the brush. All right, so I said I'd talk about it this is the end of the video. You can skip to the next one if you want, but I'm just feeling so frustrated. I think I've reached that middle age point where my son is basically grown up, hardly needs me anymore. All I do at home now is like cook and clean and just not much else. I feel like I don't have much purpose. I think I'm gonna get a job. I've gotta get a job. I used to be a lawyer. I do have a brain in here somewhere. I just feel like I'm so old, no one would hire me. Can you relate to this? If you're my age, you must, right? Please tell me I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. I don't even know where to begin looking for a job. But that's what's going on. I mentioned it at the video at the beginning of the video, so I thought I would at least address it. And those were all of my empties. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of them, if you have any recommendations for me regarding products or just videos or a job. I'd love to hear from you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at any point subscribe share it with your friends all the good stuff and in the meantime i hope you find some time to pamper yourself today bye